everyone. Just wanted to do some of my May favorites. It's the first favorites video I've done. So I'm going to get started. I have quite a few favorites. Some of them are just things that I've used on and off throughout the years. And some I, uh, from other gals doing the videos, what they recommended. And I agreed with them and liked them as well. So, um, one of the uh, things that I'm really liking, I've been using for about two months now, is the Corez um, Anti-Aging, Anti-Wrinkle Quercetin and Oak um, Face Lotion. And uh, this does go on really beautifully and smoothly. Um, sinks right into the skin and uh, has a nice scent, not too overwhelming. And uh, you don't really need to have a primer on when you use this, but you can. But it leaves a really nice, <coughs> excuse me, smooth finish. So that is definitely one of my current favorites. Um, another one is the two, three things from the Mac to the Beach collection so far. These have been real favorites of mine. Um, both of the Luster Drops. Um, uh, one is more of a bronzy color and one is the pink. One's called Rebel and one is called Gold Rush. So these are definitely been my favorite. I've been using them to highlight my cheekbones, eyelids, um, anything like that. And that uh, gives you an idea of what it looks like. And there's a little bit on my hand. I hope you can see that. There it is. That's the gold. And the pink obviously has more pink tones to it. And that's a dab of the pink right here. And um, they also are great for if you wanted to add a little sheen and luster to your foundation. Uh, you could put a few drops of that in there with it. And uh, it would work quite nicely. Uh, also, I've been wearing, and I have it on now. I don't know if you can see. It is the To The Beach. Um, green eyeshadow from their collection called Sweet and Punchy. has the shell on the cover and it's a, like a chartreuse green. Pretty much the same color as the packaging. And I, I did a review on this before our haul and I am loving this, <clears throat> this eyeshadow. The other one I got was the blue one. I can't remember the name, like an aquamarine blue and a little too bright but would be fun for the nighttime or something. Um, uh, getting dressed up for a party uh, would be a good color for that. And um, I'm also loving this lipstick from MAC that I got just a couple weeks ago. And it's called Pervert. I'm uh, not so crazy about the name, but uh, there it is. And it's a really pretty pink. I keep this in my pocketbook all the time because. Um, it's a real good go-to color. It's darker on than it looks like on my hand, but again, it's called Pervert, and uh, it's a MAC. I hope I have that right. Um, also, I love this as a base for my eyes, and you can even use it as a highlighter on your cheekbones if you want it. It's called Fantastic, and it's the cream color base, they call it, and it's smooth and creamy. And I have used this quite a bit, and there's a swatch of it. Looks great on your eyelids. It brightens your eyes up, um, really nice, and it, and it's a great neutral color. And I do go to this a lot. So, um, in the Mac color called Faux F A U X, I am loving this color too. It's a great color for um, contouring the eye and putting in the crease and. Um, you can blend it out nicely so it isn't too dark and uh, overwhelming. Great color. Let me swatch some on my finger. It's kind of a reddish purple brown. I guess that's the best way to describe it. But it's uh, faux is the color of that. And the other MAC product I'm loving is the Indian Wood um, Cream Eyeshadow Pot. And that's a golden brown color, almost a coppery color. Now, I've used this quite a bit, and it doesn't even look like anything's been, you know, used. Uh, a little goes a long way, and there's the color. And I'm loving this. This really stays on. It doesn't crease, and um, really looks well with my 
hazel green eyes too, if you have that color. And the last MAC is the Chromatic, I think that's what it's called, the Chromographic Pencil in NC15 and W20. And its stick is like a, a wood stick. And these are fairly new. And um, that's the color. And I use it uh, on my um, tight line a lot. And I use it under my brows. Very neutral, which is what I like for daytime. And a good base eyeshadow I've been using a lot too that I've liked is from Stilla. And it's called Eden. And this is a good all over color. It's going to pop out of this good all over color for your eyes as a base or um, just just for concealing. I've um, been using this for a long time. It is one of my favorites. Okay and one of my super duper favorites that I've been using um, is the Rapid Lash um, Eyelash Growth Serum. I got it at CVS. It was $40 and I had a coupon for $10 off thinking I'll give it a try rather than paying over $100 from some of these others. And I'll tell you, it's worked great. Oh, I wish you could see. My, my eyelashes are have grown an incredible amount. I had pretty long eyelashes to begin with, but um, these, they almost reach my eyebrow. Um, if I had a close-up on this, I would do it. But uh, <laughs> it is. I'm really impressed with this and will be purchasing this again. And I use that in the morning. And the other two favorites, I'm sure you've heard a million times favorites, uh, the Shiseido Eyelash Base. And I uh, love this. It makes my eyelashes full and thicker before I put the mascara on. It's a funny um, kind of grayish color. And um, it's like magic. <laughs> And then, of course, L'Oreal Voluminous Black Mascara. And it's currently my favorite. Favorite. I go through mascara, you know, every t couple weeks I try something new. I like, But right now I'm liking this. I go back and forth. And um, oh, uh, two more things. I love this Urban Decay Purple Eyeliner, Crayon Eyeliner. Glide On Eye Pencil is the exact name, and its color is Ransom, and it does stay quite a long time, and it's this pretty purple color. I've used this on my tight line, I've used it under my eyes, I've used it on top lid, and um, <clears throat> has a nice sheen to it, and uh, very vibrant. Really liking this color. Should try that. Also, I... This has been my favorite for a good six months now, but it's just the Chapstick Fresh Effects and Green Tea. And um, it even has a little tint to it, kind of a crystally white, um, but it looks really pretty. And it's great to put under lipstick and, um, and just by itself. It makes your lips tingle and it smells so good. Kind of is a, almost a little pick-me-up for your lips. And finally, I am loving, um, I did this in a haul a while ago, the Tarte case here with the eyeshadows. And um, these are the colors. I've been using the blues very often lately. Um, but I am just loving these. They go on like silk. Beautiful colors. You can get as dark or as light as you need to with layering. And um, just really happy. This was a really good purchase and I really felt I got my money's worth. I'm going to show you the two blues. There's one darker than the other. You see that's a little darker. And then the green. Really pretty color too. And um, I might as well do the purple. And there's the purple. So I am really happy I bought this and um, been using all the colors. And I think this will be a go-to for me, especially for traveling. So, those are my May favorites, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I would love to have you leave a comment or su subscribe, and um, let me know what you think. Thanks so much, and I will talk to you later.